What's up everyone, it's DJ Rick Webb. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys saw by the title today, we're gonna to be doing another video on Jetpack Bags, the DJ company or the bag company that is by DJs for DJs. Let's get into it. So like I mentioned today, we have another video on jetpack bags. If you guys have seen, I've made quite a few videos on jetpack bags and honestly, they have been one of the biggest supporters of the channel from the get-go. And beyond that, they make amazing, awesome bags for us DJs. The whole company, like I mentioned, is by DJs for DJs and I think that's just the coolest concept. When I first met them back in Atlantic City in 2019, we linked up, we hooked up, we got to talk about the concepts of the bags and why they're doing what they're doing. And I'm really on board with this company. And you guys should know from the channel that I only support the companies that I truly actually use day in and day out. Jetpack Bags is one of those companies I have, I don't even remember how many Jetpack Bags I got at this point, but I use three primarily. One of them, which is my favorite, is this bag right here. This is my snap bag. This is my everyday DJ bag or just my everyday bag in general. I keep my backup computer in here, which happens to be my day-to-day -day computer. This bag goes everywhere with me. It's normally just always in my truck, wherever I'm going, if I'm traveling, etc. It's got my ceremony computer in it and it's my backup computer to my main DJ. This goes everywhere. This snap bag is going to integrate directly with the bag we're looking at today, which is the newest bag called the Glide. I also have a couple other jetpack bags that I use. I got a bigger one that stores all of my actual essentials for DJing. It's got a bunch of backup cables in there, it's got my headphones, it's got my main DJ laptop, my iPad, my paperwork, that's my main DJ bag. I got a video on that and I'll link the videos that I posted before on Jetpack Bags in the description down below as well. I also have another bag I use that's a Jetpack bag that has all my clothes. So I put all my event clothes in there, keeps my watches, my shoes, my clothes, my backup clothes, my sweatsuit, et cetera, is all in that bag. So I love Jetpack bags. They're super strong, super tough, and they're super comfortable. Before Jetpack, I was a big like Under Armour bag fan and literally those, I would tear that bag to shreds in like practically a year not to mention it did not protect my computer very well and that is crucial so all of these bags are engineered for us DJs when it comes to abusing them and protecting our gear inside of them. So today we're looking at the newest bag from Jetpack Bag and that is the Glide. This bag right here goes with the Snap Revolution series that they've been rolling out. This is the, the granddaddy bag that they finally worked their way up to. They originally started with the Snap Bag which is designed to be just kind of like your DJ laptop only. It's designed to keep a very small amount of gear on on your back, keep a nice lightweight, small, compact bag that just literally fits your laptop and your headphones and maybe a few miscellaneous items, but it's super small, super thin, and really nice to work with. Then they release the drop. I will post uh, the video link to that. I made a whole video on that. That is meant for our smaller DJ controllers and it makes it easy to transport them to and from your events. This right here is the one that we've all been waiting for and this is meant for our bigger full-size DJ controllers such as the Pioneer DDJ Reb 7, the Pioneer DDJ 1000 SRT, and the Rain 1. Practically the three most popular DJ controllers on the market right now. So let's start off by talking about the exterior of the bag, and then I'll show you guys the interior, and then we're gonna actually put the Rev7 and the 1000 SRT in it. I happen to own both those controllers, plus an SZ and a variety of other DJ controllers at this point. But we have both of them here, so we're gonna test it out. First off, the exterior of this thing is built like a tank. The handles are all reinforced with additional stitching so that when you grab onto this handle, it's not gonna rip and tear when you're picking up your DJ controller. The zippers are nice and thick. The whole entire thing is made out of a water resistant fabric so that if this gets splashed with a drink or if it's raining when you're going from your car to the club slash the bar, it's going to protect everything inside. It's not gonna 100% protect from water, like if you sit water on this, it probably will eventually seep in, but it's water resistant, it can take a splash, it can take some rain. You have a nice big handle here, and here that makes it easy to grab this unit and pick it up. You also have your handles on both sides as well, so plenty of handle options to work with. On the bottom here, we have reinforced feet. We also have wheels on the side. These are similar to your skateboard wheels, so they glide nice and smoothly. Note the name glide of the backpack. Then we also have reinforcement around the wheels, 
We also have on the back side here, the luggage handle has been reinforced and there's additional stoppers on both sides to make it balanced. When you're setting this thing down on a table, it's got plenty of feet to keep it from wanting to shift back and forth. So very well engineered on that standpoint. The handle again, it's a luggage handle, lifts up nice and high, making this super easy. And we'll talk about this in a comparison to hard cases, but this is super nice and high up. Honestly, almost too high. You can lower it down a little bit. It's got multiple different spots. You can lock it in three different height settings, one at the lowest, medium and high making it super easy for you to transport this to and from your events. On the front side here, this is actually a storage compartment for the snap. If you guys saw my video on the drop, it has the same sort of feature. And the design of this is to take the weight off of your back. All of us DJs, you know, as we get older, we gotta reduce the strain on our back with carrying our gear. This is designed so that you can unzip this right here and you can then slide your snap bag. And it's got a nice little strap to secure it. Boom. So now you have your snap bag all set and ready to go to the event. So your laptops are up here, your controller's in here, and you're all set and ready to go to wheel this to your event. Pretty cool feature. So now let's look what's inside the bag and talk about everything related to that. All right, so now let's take a look inside of the Glide from Jetpack in terms of what we have to work with on the inside of the bag. Again, nice big zipper to undo, open her up, and before we go too far, I wanna point out that this top portion right here, this is literally like half an inch thick. It's got a nice solid, um, almost like a plastic part on this, on this side to make it nice and strong. And then on the inside, we have a nice thick, I wanna say like half an inch piece of foam on the inside to really protect whatever we have inside. Now, as I open it up, the first thing I wanted to point out is there's actually another snap bag inside of the actual bag. And that's because when you order your Glide, the Glide system, you can either order it with a snap bag if you don't already have one, or you can order it without the snap bag if you don't want it, or if you already have one like myself. So we have one right here, just pointing out that it can come with another snap bag if you want it. That again, Again, works with the system. Then um, we got these big straps to undo here. Inside of it, we have a variety of these foam blocks. So we have four small, we have four medium, we have two large, and then we have one extra large that's actually underneath here as well. But this is what allows you to customize this bag to fit whatever controller it is that you have and also allows you down the line to fit whatever controller might come your way as long as it fits into these outer dimensions, which are 31 inches by 16 inches. So that is the max dimensions of this. It can fit a 31 by 16. Again, any smaller controllers, uh, you could either use this bag. Again, if you have smaller controllers, it might fit into the drop, which is another bag from Jetpack, but you can use these foam blocks to maybe arrange a DJ controller in here of smaller size. And then you can also fit additional stuff such as a microphone, headphones, etc. Next thing, this is your divider plate in a way. This is what your controller is going to sit on. And one cool thing Jetpack did on the engineering here is it's actually two-sided and each side has a function. So we have a very flat side here with a little label here that says controller with no feet, this side up. On the back side, you might guess it, but we have indentations here for controllers with feet such as the Rain 1. The Rain 1 has feet. This allows those feet to sit down in here and then it protects the bottom as well so that there's no like room for things to kind of shift around. And that is a cool feature to have this plate have both things. And this is made of a really thick, really thick hard density foam and I love to see it. It really fits well. I also point out a common thing if you've never seen Jetpack bags before, they always use this vibrant, orange interior and that's done on purpose. Us DJs are in a lot of low light environments and this bright orange is really reflective and helps make visibility inside of your bag, inside of low light environments easier. And I will stand behind that. I've been in bar situations, wedding situations where I needed to grab something out of my DJ bag and that orange made it extremely easy to find what I was looking for. Now below that we have a egg crate sort of foam. This is actually for the very top of your DJ controller. It's just how they packaged it in this one that it's all the way in the bottom. So we have that foam as well. And then this is our 
extra large foam block as well. So now let me grab a DJ controller and let's see how they fit in here. So the first one we're gonna start with is the Rev 7. Now the Rev 7 doesn't have feet, so we're gonna put the uh, board in here now with that side facing up that says controllers with no feet. And right here is our Rev 7. And you'll see that it fits in here beautifully. Lots of space to work with. And the one thing we wanna make sure we do now, you can see there's lots of space around, is we wanna put those foam blocks in here now to protect it. So let's see, uh, not the bigger ones. I think we're gonna need the small ones. Yeah, so the small ones look to be the ones that we're gonna need to fit in here to make it nice and snug. And all these foam blocks have Velcro on the back and they will Velcro to the outside edges. Now we're gonna need some Velcro here and we can put one over here as well. And then again, we're gonna put the egg crate on top. Again, this is the reason why they designed the egg crate is so that it can fit nicely around all the different components that you might have on your controller. So that way it's not putting too much pressure on one specific area, especially with those knobs. Strap it down and then we can use the top here that's nice and thick to then zip up our Rev 7 and that's it. It's all in here nice and secure. I don't feel any wiggle around with the Rev 7 in there. Unzip it, back open again. And one thing to point out here is we actually have a lot of room even with the Rev 7, which is a quite a big controller in terms of width with the motorized platters to fit a lot of additional stuff possibly around this. We could also possibly put in some additional foam padding. That's the beauty of having all these different blocks is you can put in some additional foam padding to further protect the controller. So that right there is the Rev 7 in here. Now let's look at the 1000, which is a lot more shallow. So we might be able to fit some things underneath of it. All right, so here we go. We got the 1000. And like I mentioned, we do have a lot of room here. With the 1000 here, we have an additional inch and a half to work with in terms of space. So one of the things we can do with this is if we remove the 1000 and we remove this bottom plate, we can actually now throw a bunch of cables here, a bunch of XLR cables. You can put some cables down here in the bottom. Maybe you have a wireless mic unit like this. This is actually very dusty, but you do have padding in the bottom of this unit already. So you can actually put some stuff in here like this, put in all your cables. You can imagine the other stuff you can put in here, your microphones, etc. All the little knickknacks that you might have. And now we can put this top plate or this divider plate, I guess, put that in there like that. Now we can put our 1000 in here beautifully. Let's get all of our spacers. The 1000 is a little bit shallower in terms of spacing. So I'm gonna use the medium blocks on the sides here. We'll do one small one there. Then we'll do two small ones here. This is the beauty. You can customize it to fit whatever controller it is. And I still have space here for maybe a phone charger or something like that. Then we take our eggshell on top strap it down so it stays there for our nice big thick padded and this fits beautifully that's beautiful zips perfectly it's not like it's super stuffed it's not like this is a suitcase you're taking on vacation you're trying to shove all the clothes in there there's still plenty of space and again this is super solid and oh my god this is awesome i am very impressed that is a very cool fits all of the stuff in there let's see real quick i want to try and see if we have room to fit the rev 7 with all that stuff still on the bottom now we're not going to, be able to fit this medium one in there the rev 7 is a lot thicker but i think we'll have room to fit it i think we will i think we will still have room put that over there so it's nice and snug again put our egg crate on top maybe let's see here let's see if we're squishing it a little too much possibly no actually it is a little tighter but still the zipper is very smooth going around that that is impressive again you have lots of room to work with in this bag to transport what you need that's awesome and as you guys can see we have a lot of room in this bag to work with to fit a variety of different things i will point out or Think about one time that the Rain 1 is a little bit thicker than the Rev 7 with those feet, which I believe are removable. I think you could still fit this in there with all that stuff still in the bottom of this bag. And this is where the possibilities are kind of endless. And one of the coolest things I love about companies that produce things like this is that it's custom to whatever you want it to be. So with this, we have all these different foam bits where we can fit different size controllers, 
different things into them. You don't even have to use this thing for a controller. If you are a video sh person, you could fit some cameras in here. There's a lot of different things you could do. I was already thinking about how we could use this to transport our video gear that we're slowly expanding into, where we could put the video switcher over here. We could put all of our HDMI cords in the bottom. We could put a monitor in here, like a little, maybe a little 20 inch monitor to take with us to the events. And this could be set up in a configuration to be a mobile video rig as well with the amount of space that you have in here and all of these different foam kind of bits that allow this thing to be customized for whatever it is that you want it to be. So with that said, the intentions of this bag is to be for your DJ controller and predominantly the Rev7, the 1000, the Rain 1 that we've talked about. So the goal behind this is a lot for you guys that are doing a lot of bar and club events where all you need to bring in is a DJ controller and your laptop to do your events and maybe you need to also bring in a wireless microphone like this, or for you guys that are traveling DJs that need to bring a DJ controller with you, this is a great option because you can put your wireless mics in here because if I'm a traveling DJ, which I am probably gonna be start doing a little bit of it, and uh, I haven't traveled to the point of flying to a destination, but I've been able to get some experience from other guys in industries, the three main things they will always fly with, possibly, it depends on who they're working with for their gear, Gear. They'll fly 100% of course with their laptop, but in some scenarios, depending on where you're renting the gear, they will normally bring a DJ controller with them because they're most comfortable with their own DJ controller. And also it's nice to have a backup in case the rental is a piece of shit, but they'll also travel with a good set of wireless microphones, ones that they're familiar with and know how to use. So this bag is plenty big enough to fit both two wireless mics, three wireless mics, bunch of XLR cables, your DJ controller and everything you need in this bag. And of course your laptop will go in your snap bag that you'll take along with you. Really well thought out system to be using for traveling DJs and bar slash club DJs. I'm not 100% sure that I see this being a huge uh, advantage for mobile DJs. Unless you are a mobile DJ that just sets up your controller on top of a table, this could be beneficial. We'll get into the next benefit and that is the comparisons of where this shines versus a big bulky road case. So of course we have the glide here from Jetpack. Pretty much beefed out suitcase to take your DJ controller wherever you want. And it's really engineered for traveling and being mobile with moving. And it's very durable. But anyways, this right here is not necessarily set out to replace a DJ road case or DJ flight case, but more or less to be a better suited option for people that need more mobility to transport their DJ controller. Because right here, <clears throat> is a All Black Pro X Pioneer DDJ Rev 7 case. And if you couldn't tell by my, me grunting, this thing's heavy <laughs> and this is empty. This is completely empty, that's completely empty. And when I'm talking weight wise, this thing weighs without the controller, probably close to like 40 to 50 pounds. And this glide over here is literally about half that weight. In comparison, this is 19 pounds lighter than this one, which is pretty much half the weight. When you add in that a DJ controller that weighs about 20 pounds by itself, the Rev7 is not a light controller. And again, I don't know the exact weights on this. I'm just spitballing and giving you guys my opinion right now. This thing is heavy and that makes it even heavier. This thing is light, that thing makes it a little bit heavy. So like I mentioned, both of these are designed for different purposes. This thing is designed to be a super bulky tank almost housing for your controller. It's also meant to pretty much permanently hold your controller so your controller doesn't leave this unit right here. The wheels, again, it's got wheels on the bottom, but the handle is not the most convenient handle to grab. And when you have this down on the ground, you actually have to bend over a little bit to get to the actual handle itself. Versus this has an extendable handle that is outside the frame now at this point. Literally extends well above the road case itself. So when it comes down to the comparison between these two, again, this is not designed to replace this, but this is more of your permanent setup. If you're gonna build out a case and put ports in it and build your mics into the case and make it functionality uh, better for you to set up faster and more efficient for your mobile events, this might be the route to go. But if you are already setting up 
your mic separately or you have a separate mic rack for your microphones and you're predominantly just DJing off your DJ controller or you go to the bars and clubs a lot, the Glide or the Snap Revolution system makes a lot more sense because it keeps the weight down. It protects your gear 100%, but it keeps the weight down. So like I said, if you're a traveling DJ or if you're just doing a lot of bar and club gigs and you have to bring your controller out, this is a way better option in terms of form and function than a big bulky heavy road case that's more designed for your mobile events where you're gonna build this out to be a, a setup system for having microphones built into it and making it easier to have all of your stuff already integrated and ready to go. So bringing this all together into a little summary, the new backpack we have here from Jetpack Bags, the Glide, as part of the Snap Revolution is honestly a game changer option for functionality for us DJs out there. I would highly recommend this to anyone. I'm excited to actually get to use this for my travel events, for events where all I need to bring is a DJ controller. I got a couple this year that I'm going up to Ohio that I might not have to bring a big setup with me. And I think this is going to serve a really cool function in the arsenal of different gear that we can utilize for our events. So if you guys are interested in learning more about the Jetpack Glide itself, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description down below where you guys can go check it out on their website. There might be a promo code with that as well where you guys can save a little bit of money. I gotta double check that with my boys over at Jetpack. But if there is one, I will leave it in the description down below. And just in general, guys, if you guys need a DJ backpack, I I can't highly recommend more the Jetpack line. Any of the Jetpack bags are phenomenal bags to use for your DJ events. And like I said, all their bags are engineered and designed for us DJs. So they're designed to protect our laptops better than a traditional bag. They're designed to be more visible in those low light environments. And again, if you guys saw with my bag, they offer branding where you can brand the bag to be your name, your company, and that also makes this a complete write off because it's got your branding on it. That way you can rep your brand everywhere you go and just adds that extra touch to your bags. It also makes it harder for people to steal it. So anyways guys, this was a full in-depth review on the Jetpack Glide, the new latest and greatest bag from Jetpack to fit your DDJ 1000 SRT, the Rev 7, your Rain 1, and really give you guys a more functional portable option to easily transport your full-size DJ controllers. Highly recommend you guys check it out if you haven't already. Leave a like on this video if you liked it. If you made it to this point in the video and you know you want to show some love go down the comment section down below and put hashtag squad i always like to see the loyal supporters that are watching the videos all the way through so hashtag squad in the comments down below hit the subscribe button because if you're going to put a comment down below you better be subscribed we're on the journey to know grow this channel and through educating and product reviews and all that so i appreciate every single one of you guys that are loyal subscribers and putting hashtag squad in the comments down below but anyways guys keep them record spinning and i will see you guys in the next video with either a gig log a product review or some educational stuff and if you have recommendations for future videos leave them in the description down below anyways peace